everybody, this is Maxwell Carlisle. I've got a new demo review for you today. Uh, today I'm going to look at the B52 LG100A head. Okay, that's this thing right here. Uh, these are made in China and everybody's always like, Oh, B52, they're made in China, man, they suck and stuff. Okay, these are actually great, great solid state heads. And what's really cool is you can get these like dirt cheap. You can get these, I got this one for 125 bucks uh, used and then you can you can find them for 150 200 easily and uh, yeah it's a hundred watts solid state uh, two speaker outputs it's got a uh, uh, impedance uh, switch on it so you can run like an 8 ohm or a 16 ohm cabinet whatever you want uh, line out anyway let me go over the features first and then uh, I'll play some uh, play some tunes on it and uh, we'll see how it sounds all right Okay, so this is a two-channel head. We've got our clean channel right here. We've got a level, bass, middle, treble. Uh, over here, these are globals, uh, global knobs here. We've got a reverb and a master. And we've got a headphone jack right there. Okay, over here, we've got our overdrive channel. Uh, two gain stages. This is gain one, gain two. This is a, a contour. Uh, kind of a mid-range, kind of a low-mid uh, adjustment. Uh, this is the gain switch for switching between the two gain channels, and we've got our standard bass, middle, treble, and a level again there. Okay, and on the back here, uh, we've got this nice uh, massive aluminum heat sink. We've got our two speaker outs here. We've got a ground lift switch over here, uh, if you can see that. This is a line out, and it's got a level control on it. And then we've got uh, the foot switch plugs, one for the reverb, one for the channel switch. And then we've got uh, effects return and effects send, and they both have their own level controls. Okay, so let's listen to this beast in action here. I'm going to start on the clean channel. Um, I've got it uh, scooped a little bit here. I've got the bass turned down just a little bit to about four. Trebles on six. Uh, Mid-range is right in the middle. No reverb. <coughs> Okay, uh, let's play with the EQ a little bit. Let's get uh, let's get a real trebly here. Treble is on about nine. Mid range is right in the middle. Bass is like on two. And let's put a little reverb on there. Reverbs reverbs on five. <laughs> Distortion channel, everybody's favorite. So uh, let's go over here on the overdrive channel. Uh, we've got two gain stages. Gain one, gain two. Start with gain one. Uh, everything's right up in the middle here. And gain's on ten, of course. Let's check it out. <coughs> Okay, 
they kind of modeled it after a, a Marshall. It's got that sort of sweet mid rangey sound. <laughs> DC type stuff, and uh, but the gain two, the second gain stage gets really really heavy. You can turn the highs up, turn the lows up a little, mids down, scoop it out, get a really good sound. And I'm tuned just to uh, standard E tuning here, so if you want to tune down, get really really heavy, or use a seven string. <laughs> Continued. B-52 doesn't make these new anymore, but they made a ton of them. They're easy to find, and you can pick them up for 100 to 200 bucks in good shape. And uh, you know they're solid-state heads. They're durable. They're loud. And unlike most solid-state heads, this one, when you turn it up really loud, it doesn't get as much of that nasty, brittle, harsh sound that a lot of solid-state stuff gets. Um, it does get a little bit of that, but it's way, way better than most most solid state heads that I've heard. So anyway, that's the LG100A. Check it out. Keep playing. 